Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins who helped us with this translation. The translation reads like this. Hello brother Nanshi, how are you? Can you please post my own story? is anonymous my name is name hidden and i am living here in Guyana. i have always considered myself as a godly woman i was raised in a christian home and i was taught to follow the teachings of the bible but today i find myself living under a dark cloud of accusations and whispers my in-laws and some people in the community they're now accusing me of being a witch and i cannot escape the weight of these suspicions it all began after my mother's death which this was last year my mother she was a woman who was working in the department of education this was for many many years she was a woman who was a respected woman known for her dedication and her hard work but there was a side of her that only a few of us knew even though she was someone that was really active active in church but there were some things that she used to do some things that were questionable and most of these things we were always keeping it as a secret because my mom is someone that was respected in the community and at church she did not want people to know that at night this is what my mom used to do my mother possessed a charm and this charm was something that she kept hidden but she was using this charm against their co-workers I only found about it much later when I was already an adult. The charm was very powerful and it was very deadly. The first thing that I suspected that my mom was a witch when I was growing up, I would wake up sometimes, I would find myself outside and no one could even explain it to me what was happening to me. So my mom, she wanted me to become a witch like her. The other thing that was happening at my home, we used to have a lot of cats. But these cats, we would only see them at night. These cats, they would come. Then my mom, she would go outside and feed these cats. And we used to think that these cats, they belonged to our neighbors. Until I confronted my friend about this and she said that she had never seen any cat in their yard or in our yard. So that was when I found out that these cats that we would see that my mom would be feeding these cats they were spiritual cats even though we used to see them physically so whenever she would use a charm against anyone it will cause those that would have crossed a path to go mad my mom always wanted to be seen as this person that was controlling everyone as someone that was powerful so if you would start to fight against him you will suffer from swollen feet a lot of people from the church that we used to go to they were suffering from this disease of getting swollen feet in some cases they would even die i remember that the day that my mom when my mom fell ill that was when she thought that it was far much better for her to confess to me my mom confessed to me on that day and she told me that she had used these charms so as to protect her from those who tried to under to undermine her at work my mom told me that soon after our dad had passed away they were on separation then our dad went to Houteng to look for work my mom already working at that department of education that was when she started dating this other man who was from mozambique so when they were dating my mom was then told by that man because my mom was saying that this man it was like he was a prophet at the same time he was a traditional healer he then gave my mom a prophecy that she was about to die from swollen feet and my mom then said there was this other day when she was at her office then she felt like there was something that had beaten her as if it was a scorpion she called her boyfriend who rushed to the office the boyfriend then said that she should not keep on scratching 
a leg where she had been bitten by that invisible scorpion. Later on, when they were doing a consultation, that was when one of my grandmother came and started speaking. A spirit was speaking and a spirit was saying that the only way that my mom could be saved because she was going to die if she was going to accept to ask to accept for her grandmother's spirit to protect her and by this it, the spirit meant that whatever that she was doing when she was still alive like bewitching other people that is what my mom had to do my mom cried when she gave me this confession and he said my daughter what did you want me to do because i was looking at death at that time i did not even know what exactly was i supposed to do so my mom after she had confessed to me i was horrified i was too afraid and I was afraid of her, but she was my mother, and I did not know what I was supposed to do with the information. I just hope and I prayed that God was going to give my mom. Last year, my mother passed away since her death. Strange things have been happening, and usually what will happen is that when I will go and when I will be sleeping over at someone's house, like one of my boyfriends, usually... I can wake up in the middle of the night and I will find myself on top of that man that I'll be at his house, not like making love to him, but as if I am bewitching him. And when my mom passed away, the very co-workers who once fell victim to her charms, they are now suffering more than ever. Many of them that used to work with my mom, even from church, they have started going mad. There are others that are suffering from swollen feet and some have passed away. It is like my mom is the, it is like a spirit is still alive and there are people in the community that have seemed to notice that there are some strange things that have been happening at our house. There are people that have been talking and gossiping behind our backs. I once had a boyfriend woke up whilst I was sitting on top of him and he was like, what are you doing? It's like your eyes have changed. At that time, I was busy whispering. I don't even know what exactly was I, what I was doing. And I am scared because people that are gossiping, they're not talking about my siblings whenever they are gossiping, but they will be talking about me. Like it seems as if all those things that were being used by my mother, they belong to me now. It is like I am the one who is carrying on her evil work and I have inherited her powers to harm others even this other guy whom I was dating, he took me to his house and my in-laws who had once welcomed me with open eyes, they started keeping their distance, whispering behind my back until one of my uh, boyfriend's sister had the audacity to call me a witch. It is a title that has stabbed my heart each and every time when I hear it. But I swear before God that I have never touched any charm, nor do I have any desire to harm anyone. I am a woman of faith, like I told you, a mother who only wants to live in peace. I have prayed and prayed, asking God to lift this heavy burden from me, to clear my name, to protect my family from these accusations. I confess this now, the pain of being falsely accused, it is just too much. I did not choose this path. I do not want any part of the darkness that my mother used to do. I am trying to live a righteous life to raise my children in the light of God's love. But these accusations, they are tearing me apart. I ask for forgiveness from those who were hurt by my mother's actions even though I had no part in them. And I pray that one day the truth is going to be revealed. But as for now, I am suffering like that boyfriend of mine, the one who woke up when I was sitting right on top of him. That guy, he even, he even told most of his friends and relatives and people, they just think that indeed I am a witch, but I am no witch, brother Nashi. This is my story. Please post for me. I'll be following through in the comment section.